Best damn podcast, the best damn town. You want to get up, get ready to get down. Welcome to the greatest damn town in Montana, Great Falls. I'm Rebecca Ingham, and as most of you know, I've been riding solo for the last two and a half months. So everyone has probably been aware that there has only been three episodes since my beloved co-host, Maddie, headed to another state. And I do apologize, but, you know, it's just not as much fun talking to yourself in a room. And sometimes experts are like, eh, it, it's not as fun just talking to Rebecca. So that's all going to change. We're going to get back on schedule. We're going to go back to offering you the entertainment you have so needed. And I'm sure you've gone back and listened and listened to every episode that we've ever done, which is great. But today, folks, today, I'm here to introduce you to my new co-host. Now, keep the cheers down. You're screaming. I know you are. But my new co-host, unlike Maddie, has a face for television and a voice for radio, because she's done at least one of them that I know of, but to my knowledge is still no damn expert, Shannon Newth. No damn expert is right. And I've learned that in my four days on the job. I thought I knew things. Yeah. No, I think that's the best thing to do is start a new job to realize how much you don't know. It's humbling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been 14 years. I've been saying this. It's been 14 years since I've had to start from scratch and feel like I know nothing about anything. It's a humbling experience. And here we are. So in my intro, I alluded to that you have a face for television and a voice for radio. Have you done both of these things or just one of them? The listeners can can be the judges of that. Uh, and the face part, mm, I don't know about that either. Uh, I've done, well, television for 14 years. Part of that, I've done some radio hits when I initially started and was giving the weather forecast. Oh. We did a couple of radio hits back when I first started. So, so both. Briefly. Un, untrained, <laughs> but it has appeared on a radio Yes. There we go. Mm -hmm. So, Shannon, tell our listeners just, you know, a small snippet about yourself. You have been on broadcast television in our market for the last 14 years. And most recently, let me brag for you, (laughs) back-to-back broadcaster of the year right here in our midst, now on Montana's number one podcast. No pressure. You know, we pull out the big guns for you people. <laughs> so if you're not already in love with We're No Damn Experts, now's the time to fall into love with us. Please lower your expectations. <laughs> that title makes it sound like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, no, that was that was a huge honor. But yes, please lower your expectations for me. Yeah. So I uh, have been, yeah, Television News uh, was here at the CBS affiliate KRTV in Great Falls for 14 years. Wow. So I Graduated from college. I don't know if you want the long, yeah. medium, short version of this story. Let's see what happens. Let's see you what know, happens. Our, our listeners you don't know, care. People can pause whenever they want. They to, haven't know. had us for two and a half months. So. You haven't had a co-host, so <laughs> let's yeah. soak it in. Soak it in. So yes, uh, during college, I interned at KRTV here in Great Falls twice. Long story short, sort of shorter, <laughs> spring of senior year of college, was planning on doing television. I decided, nah, don't want to do TV anymore. You know, because right before you graduate, it's the perfect time to, right, to decide change to directions. change what you want to do. Yep. Yeah. Uh, came back to Great Falls. I went to college at Whitworth University in Spokane. Uh, got my degree in journalism and mass communications with minors in psychology and leadership studies. Didn't want to do TV anymore. <laughs> I applied to, mm, I think, nine different jobs in Spokane in, in various capacities, communications, okay. I was going to go get my master's, go work at a college. That was my plan. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I've ever told you I that. I can see so. you doing that, Well, thank though. you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for holding some surprise back so it's You're not welcome. so canned of a yeah. conversation. You'll actually listen to what I'm saying now and not tune out over there. Perfect. Yeah, so I was going to go get a master's in student affairs administration, go back oh. and work in a college uh, setting because I just had a really good student life experience at yeah. Whitworth and loved the mentoring elements and things like that. Uh, so 
get home, doors keep closing and closing and closing. <laughs> Dang Fr- it. Frustrated, frustrated, frustrated. One day I walk into a coffee shop and run into uh, one of our local coffee shops here, run into some of the people who I had worked with at KRTV when I interned. They're like, hey, we're looking f- to hire people. You know, I was like, oh, that's, you know, great. That's nice. Good I'm not, not going to be here. Yeah. <laughs> a little while later, no joke, the person who was filling in on the morning news doing weather uh, flipped off the camera. <sighs> Have I told you this story either? No. All right, lots of surprises no. for you. So, you know, we won't name names, things like this. It's all in the past. <laughs> it was uh, not to the viewers. It was an accident during a commercial break that accidentally went out on air. Oh, man. Uh, you know, big <laughs> big boss saw it. Uh, that person was, uh, you know, asked to leave. <laughs> that was a Friday morning. The news director had seen I was in town, knew I was in town, knew I had some experience doing weather. Not a meteorologist had just <laughs> played one on TV, <laughs> and uh, they said, "Hey, we need a part-time morning weather person to start Monday. Can you do it?" I was like, "Well, here sure. I am." <laughs> the other, the other not so funny part of this was my dad had just been diagnosed with cancer, so I was like, "I think I need to be here in Great Falls now." Yeah. Then that happens, and here it was. So, never in a million years imagined. Fourteen years later, you'd still be still be in Great Falls, still huh. be going through that journey. But I was able to uh, be with my dad who ended up passing away, but I was able to be with him, be with my mom through her cancer journey. Thankfully, she's doing really well. My grandma's here in town, (laughs) ended up meeting my husband on television. Uh, So all of that to say, here I am 14 years later in Great Falls and hanging my hat up on the TV career. So uh, in theory, all things work out the way they're supposed to. You know, yes, they do. They do. Now, listeners... (laughs) This is going to get to be the most incestuous conversation we've had in a long time. And you're going to start to think all those funny stories about Montana are true, like everybody is related. Yep. Yep. (laughs) But kind of it is true. (laughs) Um, So you all may remember a podcast episode we did on the Electric City Speedway. Shannon, you do some... Let's call it color commentary. Uh, mm, sure. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Might be <laughs> wrong, but um, you do some color commentary at the Electric City Speedway, interviewing yes. people, being in the winner's circle, I think riding on a trolley one I did time. that once too. Yep. Yep. And um, the person we had on the podcast to discuss that was Jason Laird, mm-hmm. who is the announcer for the voice behind Electric City Speedway. Yes. He was also our sales director at the time, and we talked to him about, so listeners, you're going to know, remember, the audio didn't sound so super good, and then Jason came on board, and he fixed the audio, Mm -hmm. and it sounds great now, because Mm -hmm. he's an audio guy. It's also Shannon's husband. (laughs) There's the singer. (laughs) Yep, there's the connection. Surprise! (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Jason and I originally met at Care TV, on on TV. There we were. Yes, he left, and came to work here yes and you know I thought may as well follow in his footsteps yeah. why not <laughs> no 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 but and it's no. been a full full circle journey for tourism really we um had Maddie and Jason on the team both meteorologists yes both meter I'm sorry I like I said I've done weather but I just pretended <laughs> yeah. so I'm not an actual meteorologist and now we've got Shannon and Callie Jean who mm-hmm. is our sales director um also cousin somehow <laughs> i was gonna say do we want to mention that connection long lost yeah, might as well her and I jason mean, are long lost cousins so people when you show up here i'm the only one who's not related and we currently have no yeah. meteorologists on staff mm. we were Let rich down. with meteorologists now <laughs> we still have access you know i have pretty right. close access to one if we need one yeah but it has been uh, a fun journey you are like we said uh fourth day on the job but yes. a full week she started a week ago I so did. it's been it's been seven days since she's been a tourism team member um and we i did tell her when she started i'm gonna give you a week to nest and then we're gonna throw you into the wolves so there, there we, we go a week and now you're doing a podcast you were serious on your time frame <laughs> yeah, no. i'm not i'm not joking and <laughs> <laughs> and so much hasn't happened since you've been here so uh there's always that benefit that's always a good first week on the job so much hasn't happened since you've gotten here it's a good review yeah (laughs) we haven't been doing a whole bunch but now that you're here we're going to do a bunch of stuff all at once perfect yeah so um 
I'm going to be a little rusty. You're a little bit better because you've been on camera for a lot longer and had a s smaller break uh, than I have. So, folks, we're going to get back into the swing of things. Yeah. And it's going to sound better the more and more we do. But when you haven't done a podcast episode for a long time, it starts to get bad. If it helps, I was on TV for 14 years, but I've never actually done a podcast. So this Which is, is new, so too. Which is so strange. It is kind of strange. I know some TV stations moved to that podcast mm -hmm. episode, but maybe they heard, well, we can't compete against We're No Damn Experts. We're it's not going to try. We already have the number one podcast yeah. so in our town. So Here we go. Why not? Yeah. So what's been going on since we haven't been talking to you people is quite a bit. Mostly, the rest of the world is having the emergence from COVID-19. And we will only say this one. This is the last time we'll say it in this ep in ever on our podcast. But COVID-19 shut down a lot of events, delayed a lot of things, postponed a lot of things. And that's still happening around the world. And in Great Falls, Montana, it's not even an issue anymore. Yeah, rocking and rolling here. Nobody talks about it. Nobody thinks about it. And the amount of stuff that's been announced in the last two months of what's happening in Great Falls, the summer, fall, winter, has been insane. Which is exciting because we've we've had that break. But this is such a perfect... I mean, we're looking out the window today. Who knows what it'll be when this <laughs> comes out, right? But it is... Or this afternoon. <laughs> right. It is the most beautiful, gorgeous day. Like, this is a picturesque early summer day in Montana and the wind isn't blowing it's sunny <laughs> it's, it's beautiful amazing. we're we're looking at our landscape of gophers that like to <laughs> gophers take and over trees. the visitor center yes there are so many gophers in the park and it's been a debacle <laughs> this is one of the things I've learned in my first week on the job now you're I'm a I look like a polished city girl but I am not that at all and all I want to do for those of you who are not familiar with my, I want to shoot the gophers. Mm -hmm. I want them to be gone. And that's a very country Montana it's a, thing. It's a normal response when you see gophers. <laughs> so I call our landlord, mm -hmm. um, Steve Herrick with the city of Great Falls. And I said, so can I just sit out on the deck and plink off gophers? And he said, no, you cannot. I said, then Aww. what is your plan? For eradicating this population it's, it's it, i think callie described it well it's crawling like it looks like the ground is crawling yeah. with gophers it's moving and the the good benefit is most of the people who've been coming in to find out what to do in great falls think they're cute this is a benefit because if you're not around them a bunch like oh look yeah. cute little animals but the other night i was heading out from work I'm not kidding you. There was seven gophers that ran away from me. Oh, I was going to say, did they try the to front. attack you, like gang up on you? There came a moment when I'm like, I can't open the door too far because they will they come will back. They will come inside? Yes. Ooh. Could you imagine a gopher in the office? It no. wouldn't be good. Some people might like it greeting them. Ugh. What would it do to our desks? I have no idea. The, our plants that are dying. Would it just finish off the plants <laughs> that are dying in here? We um, need plant help. I'm That's gonna a separate say, note. I'm going to yeah. say... Before Madi left, she bought these plants. And I'm, I'm sorry. trying. I'm trying to revive them, but they're it's not going well. It's so not far. going well. Yeah. Um, anyway, so another note there. We'll call Steve on that too. Yeah. yeah. So we can't get rid of the gophers in the manner that I have been taught to right. get rid of the gophers. So there's a lot of gophers happening in the park, but also we've seen a lot more people coming out. Mm -hmm. um, the border reopened in April. We've talked about that on the pod. No, we did not. We might have hey, talked about it. the borders reopened. Borders reopened for Canada, and that's allowed our Canadian visitors to come back. And we've been seeing quite a few of them in the office, which has been nice just to visit and share. And we've had uh, more guests than we've ever had before in the last couple of years because of for a lot of reasons. But it's been nice to visit with folks again and, you know, dust, dust off our skills <laughs> and knowledge about what there is to do in Great Falls. Yeah. And I still find it funny when our guests are like, gosh, you know quite a bit. Well, that's what they pay me for. <laughs> I would I hope. I would hope. I've lived here for long enough and have promoted this city long enough that I should probably that know You can some rattle stuff. off a few things for people. If yeah. I wasn't able to, maybe you <laughs> maybe you should write a letter to the mayor and say, Hey, your people have no idea no what's idea going what's on happening. in this city. Yeah. It yeah. is funny that people are surprised at that because that's why they're coming here, right? Are they coming here expecting us not to have Maybe they're answers? just expecting a brochure for us to go, 
here's some coffee and a brochure mm-hmm. go away i don't some know some people think it's a rest stop so they're surprised when we're greeting them yeah so that's the other that thing that could that could throw them off too was it this week someone came in and was like is this a rest area and I just wanted to say, you Does know, this look like a rest area? Exactly. That we do have bathrooms. You're welcome to right. use the bathrooms. There are restrooms that's here. Not, that's not the problem. But clearly it's not a rest area. You've <laughs> seen rest areas. This isn't one of them. You have three women greeting you in a nice, beautifully redone <laughs> office. It's fine. It's the best. Re- okay. Rest area. It's the best rest area you will ever yep. see. We are going to be getting signage on the side of the building, and I think that'll help because it won't say rest Not area. A rest area is that what it's going to say? <laughs> I should get a sign that says a that. no, like a no smoking, but like a no, no rest, rest area. area crossed out sign. No vault toilet yeah. inside. <laughs> we try to make it smell nice. Mm-hmm. So, um, other things that have been announced that that our listeners are hearing for the first time because we haven't done anything on the podcast for a while. Again, we're sorry, but you know what? I am going to tell you. I had to produce three episodes. <laughs> well, it happened. So it mm-hmm. did. Yeah, it did happen. Um, and a huge shout out to my friend John Harris, who did the editing, because I can record and I can save files, and but I can't put files together, make the music thing happen. Can't can't do any of that. Okay, shouldn't say can't. Won't. Chose not to. <laughs> it's not like you're busy doing no. anything else. Yeah. Um, so the big thing that I, I think is pretty cool is we got the announcements for the downtown summer jam and the Ooh, that is exciting. 4th of July hootenanny. Yeah. So I'll test you. Oh boy. Do you know the names of the pants that are coming for downtown summer jam? Well, Rebecca, I'm no damn expert, so <laughs> I'm going to play that card a lot. I will say on that note, I am excited because... This will be the first time that I'll get to actually attend yeah. the Hoot Nanny. Obviously, a news I heard about it, was excited about it, but I worked at two o'clock in the morning, so I went to bed really early. Yeah. So I never got to go to any. So I am excited because I want to go experience yeah. it all. So <laughs> Shannon's been a little bit of a nocturnal human for a long time. Yes. Either early or late nocturnal. Yeah. Or, you know. So she, you know. Is a responsible professional adult and didn't stay up until 2 a.m. when she had to go to work. Yeah. She took a nap before she went to work. I did. Yeah. So Megan Patrick is coming on June 15th. Okay. Scooter Brown Band is coming on July 20th. And then the one I actually knew about. Okay. Because usually what I do is once it's announced, I'll find them and put them to my Spotify list. Yeah. And start listening. Yep. Yeah. Get, get familiar. familiar. So I can sing along. I already knew this one. The third okay. one. Cooper Allen, August 10th. Ooh, okay. How do I know him? Well, Callie Jean thinks it's funny every time I say this, but I found him on the TikTok. Look at you, such a big TikToker. <laughs> mm-hmm. I am not a content creator yet, but I am a peruser of, of created TikTok. content. Okay. And Cooper Allen's got some pretty good content on TikTok. Well, there TikTok. you go. And then the Hoot Nanny is July 4th, and my husband and I were stoked about this announcement, and... I think it's more of a cult following, but Colt Ford is going to be the headliner for the Hoot Nanny. She, lo- I wish people could see her. She looks so excited. <laughs> she looks so excited. Okay, well, tell tell me about Colt Ford. Colt Ford is a country rapper. A country rapper? Yes. I love that concept. I don't know what that involves, but I love it. He's been on my playlist for years. So does he rap about things that country songs are usually about? Yep. You know, the dog ran away, America. Um... <laughs> Hunting and fishing, driving Beer. on back roads, drinking. Yep. Okay. All the same things. Just rapping about it. He raps about it. Interesting. Um, and he's done some great collaborations with country artists who've become uh, top 40 artists on the radio. Okay. Um, and some songs he's done before they were popular with other people. Mm. So Jason Aldean's Dirt Road. Okay. Colt Ford did that originally. As a rap. Well, as a sing song rap thing. <laughs> Both both options. <laughs> Sing song rap. Got and it. then it was you know, I'm an expert in music. <laughs> Clearly. Um I'm trying to remember the artist he did that with. It's like Jamie or something. It'll come to sure. me. It's not you. really that important. And then um a lot of music. So State Fair tickets went on sale. Yes. And who are the State Fair concerts? 
I know a couple of them. Let's see. Let's see how okay. many you get. There's wait. There's one, two, three, four. There's five. Let's okay. see how many you well, get. Well, I know two for sure okay. off the top of my head because I'm excited about the Beach Boys okay. coming. And then I think Dwight Yoakam is coming. Yes. And I know that because Jason was excited and it's on my birthday. So. Oh. Are you guys going to go see him then? I don't know. We'll have well, to figure that out. I'm more excited about the Beach Boys. Just personal preference. But I'm excited about Dwight Yoakam. Mm-hmm. He was popular when I was in high school. Okay. So I do appreciate his music. But then, like, he retired from music and did movies. And I mm. love him as an actor. Really? I think he's really scary as an actor. <laughs> Is that like, a compliment? I don't know. Because in his music, he seems, like, nice and approachable yeah. and fun-loving. And then the the people he plays sometimes are pretty dark and twisted and okay. i'm like well that means he's a good actor then, i do right? like that yeah that's oh. what i'm going with okay so i'm excited about dwight yoakam. dwight yoakam in addition to beach boys and dwight yoakam do you know the other three mm. or there's four i'm sorry as soon as you say them i will those are the two off the top of my head okay there's four more because i lied there were six okay mini pop kids yes i remember and I think hearing that's about like that the young kids who do popular songs okay i'm not into kids it's yeah a, it's neither a new, one of us are yeah. so <laughs> it's a new gap in our system here <laughs> it is a new gap i'm sorry yes <laughs> Maddie right. had a small child i do not so <laughs> We're but learning. i've heard that that's probably that will probably be an, it'll a be good, good thing one. for for parents and kids yeah uh cheap trick okay so if you're a rocker from the from back in the day and i mean back in the day <laughs> I think 60s, 70s. Okay. Maybe 80s. Did you just defend some people by saying Probably. way back in the day in the 80s? <laughs> Probably. My husband's <laughs> one of them. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. Does, does Robert listen? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Okay. All right. That's fine. You know, but he does often sometimes say, hey, did you hear this? And I'm like, yeah, you heard it from the podcast yeah, that you... your wife is on. <laughs> You're welcome. But thanks. You were really memorable, obviously. <laughs> Chase Rice, who's a, okay. an up and coming, a little bit newer country artist. Okay. Uh, so some of you younger folks might already know who he is and have a large following there. And then, drum roll, the last act, Skillet. Ah, that's right. I do know some people who are really excited about Skillet. Skillet is a country, no, no, nope. Christian rock band. Yes, that's right. They started out as a Christian rock band. I don't know. Are they still categorized as a Christian band? I, I haven't listened to their music lately, so I don't remember. I think I only knew them as like a rock band, mm -hmm. but that's where they got yeah, their they start. Yeah, they started out that. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool because last year they brought in for King and Country or of King and yeah, Country. Yeah, yeah, of King and Country, I think. I just say King and Country. Yeah, that's Because that's what I know. Mm -hmm. And I know they're getting a little more mainstream with their country music yeah. as well. But more Christian based and did a great mm -hmm. duet with Dolly Parton on the TV that I watched one time. On the TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the thing that broadcasts, which I have learned is um, pretty funny. Kids about 20 to 25 don't watch TV. Okay. So I was talking with an uh, artist uh, a while back, an up and coming artist, and they were watching this new series on Netflix called mm -hmm. New Girl. And I said, that's a really good series. Yeah. I'm sad it ended. You've gotten through the whole thing yet? Or you've gotten through the whole thing? Uh, yeah, I watched it. Like like the when show it aired. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just brand new show for them on oh, Netflix. And I, I do was love like, that show. Uh, I don't think we should have any more conversations. It's not going to go very well. <laughs> You're not going to make me feel good about myself. <laughs> no. And I'm just going to question well, society they you were as a cool whole because you've gone through the whole series. Yeah, so. I've gotten, I'd already binged it. Yeah, I didn't binge it. I watched it live when it happened. Yeah. Every Tuesday or whatever it mm -hmm. came on. That's okay. Now you can say that you binged it over the course of <laughs> you long Six binged. years. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long binge, folks. The Voyager season has opened. Yes. And they've won both of their home stands. Good deal. Uh, so that's a multiple games. So they're getting it off to a good start. Yeah, we like to see it. <clears throat> Our annual meeting is going to be next week at the Voyager. So... Ooh. It's going to be pretty good. We're going to finally watch a game. Yeah, that'll be good. Get the group together. Get your own little like suite, don't you? They have the we they do. offer those suites that people could come if you want to have a meeting beforehand. I've been there for like graduation and birthday parties too. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So my voice is getting weak because I'm not used to talking. <laughs> it's okay. And Take got, all the breaks you need. We've got a long ways to go because okay. a lot's happened. All right, buckle up. Lewis and Clark Festival got announced. Yeah, that's always a great event. 
Now, the big thing is June is hectic. Mm -hmm. And one particular week in June is extremely hectic. So that's going to be um, a note if you're just listening now for whenever this airs, because I don't know when that happens. Um, June is going to be very busy in Great Falls. So that's going to be a difference from other Junes where it's easy to get a room. Mm -hmm. May not be as easy to get a room in June. Okay. Uh, Lewis and Clark Festival is June 17th through the 19th. Horse racing. Back in the swing of things. Um, There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven race days. July 16th, 17th, 23rd, 24th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Of July, not June. July. Okay. Correct. See how good you are? That's three full weekends of horse racing in July. Big Sky Pro Rodeo was announced. Mm -hmm. That's going to be happening August 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. That's during the week, and it's also part of the Montana State Fair. Mm -hmm. Really fun rodeo. Big names. Like the people you would see at the NFR. Yeah, these are these are big deals. Like the rodeos we get through here, this one, and then uh, and the one the circuit finals in January. Those are those are big deal rodeos. Yeah, they're famous people. Mm-hmm. Might as well be famous. Yeah, I mean, any rodeo you come to around here, any time of the year, is going to be it's going to be fun. It's going to be enjoyable. You're going to get all the rodeo action. But these are these are no joke. These are big names that come through. And as a reminder, they don't just happen every day. Right. Don't expect to come. We're not Go find a rodeo. Wyoming. Unfortunately, not every day. And, and a powwow doesn't happen every day. Right. So if you need a refresher, go back and listen to our episodes on powwows and rodeos. Your rodeo episode with Maddie was one of my favorites when you talked, and when you talked about mutton busting. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good one. One day I really hope Micah gets to ride. Yes. Sheep. I'd like to see that video. Yes. A mutton. <clears throat> and then um, this weekend-ish kicks off the Montana High School Rodeo Association Finals mm-hmm. here in Great Falls, June 7th through the 12th. It's actually next week, but uh, that's going to bring a bunch of the top high school talent, which will eventually probably become mm-hmm. circuit finals talent and big sky pro rodeo talent so get them get to see them before they're famous absolutely and also the queen the rodeo queen that oh, contest yes. is part of part of that event too can't do it without the queens they're nope. the spokesmen uh spokespeople uh often for the entire sport mm-hmm. and the industry so that's good Probably one of my favorite games is back in Great Falls on June 18th is the East West Shrine game. Mm, that's always a fun one. It rotates through Great Falls. Yes. Mm-hmm. Go East. <laughs> Showing your bias there. We are in the yeah. East region, so it makes we sense. Are. Yeah. I had to check before I said go East because I thought maybe we were in the West, but no, go East. We're okay. East. <laughs> had to check your, your <laughs> alliance Great there Falls first. and heading East. Yes. So we're good there. Um, and that brings in, interestingly enough, two athletes from Canada as well to participate in the Does East West really? Shrine game. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't either until okay. the you know until I was part of some of the conversations that happened about that. I will say too. So the Shrine game, football game. You think of the football players, but they also have cheerleaders that you have to audition for. Yes. Uh, to be or try out for, I should say, to be part of that. I say that because as a cheerleader at Haver High School. I was a backup. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> you were close. I tried out. <laughs> I did okay. So I didn't make the team, but I was I was right there. If somebody got sick, I was in. Oh, so that would have been a pretty my, awesome experience. That's that you my didn't shrine have. story. <laughs> that would have been a neat experience. I didn't have. Now I can just say I almost had it. Yeah. Um. Well, we've got free tickets if you want to go to the game and try to sneak down and be a cheerleader. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think Get, you'll still fit in. So probably shouldn't wear my <laughs> Visit Great Falls name badge on that one. We'll make you your own Visit Great Falls cheerleader outfit. There you go. Yeah. That won't make me look like an idiot at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You're going to have to First pick up the slack on the here. things that yeah. I would ask Maddie Maddie this? I don't. She was a... We, Micah could have done that. She could have pulled that off. We sent Micah, not Micah, we sent Maddie down to Highline Climbing Center to be mm-hmm. part of our sponsored athlete team to be part of the rock climbing yeah. competition they had. There you go. She didn't do well. <laughs> um, well, at least the bar's low for, for our uh, <laughs> But we've got another endeavors. event that's coming up that I think you'd be a great sponsored athlete for, so... 
that's coming up in this podcast episode. So stay tuned. Okay. See what we I'm come nervous. up with. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> The Montana Brew Fest uh, happens is this June. The, is this the event you're talking about that no. I can be a sponsor I'm, at? I'm going to be that one. <laughs> oh, you're that sponsor. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the sponsor of Athlete at the Brew Fest. Okay. It is Montana's largest brew fest, and that happens on June 11th, and it's the culmination from Craft Beer Week, which all those activities have been announced. Also, FYI, folks, if you want information on all the things there are to do in Great Falls, you can go to visit greatfallsmontana.org. And um, I'm sorry for saying this right now, but we had a small, minor catastrophe with our events page on our website. So there's some stuff up there, but Mm -hmm. a lot of stuff isn't because we had to kind of rebuild it and Mm -hmm. revamp it. So over the next couple weekends, we'll be getting all those events back up there. So if you know there's an event happening and you can't find that information on our website, give us a call, 406-761-4436. Somebody will answer the phone and talk to you about it. Great. I don't know who. And it's just going to be fun. Mm -hmm. We um, got announcement of all the Wild Montana's Wilderness Walks. And why we're excited about that is it has a leader that takes you on these walks. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Which is a heck of a lot better than trying to figure it out on your your own if Mm -hmm. you're going for the first time. And they let people from outside of Great Falls participate. Yeah, you you don't have to be... The resident you don't have to you know really say where you're from beyond just them being interested in they're really nice because especially even if you you live here you have relatives coming you want to take them for a hike you don't want to deal with bears on your own or trying to find a trailhead on your right. own or the expectation or you know the leader will have a first aid kit if you yeah. you know like me somehow injure yourself while walking <laughs> like these are really good ways to to get out and explore and get to know the area more in a less pressured right feel more secure kind of safe environment yeah and so when you find that they're happening it's a lot easier because we'll help people are in the office they're like how do you get to this trailhead and you're like well it's i don't know how to tell you this you can tell the general direction but sometimes the specifics are hard you're gonna have to look for it Mm -hmm. so this you wouldn't have to look for you could sign up and they would take you and help you and you'd be good Mm mm-hmm We are sponsors for the International Scout Expo Mm -hmm. that is happening in Great Falls, June 16th through the 19th. That's going to have like 1,300 scouts. Wow. All through our town. We'll be in good hands that weekend. Yeah. So if you're going to get out and explore, do it that weekend. (laughs) That weekend. (laughs) They're going to be be everywhere. Scouts. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Um, In addition to that, uh, Ned Ledoux is going to be here on June 19th. Now, you all might be thinking, eh, that's no Garth Brooks, <laughs> but he opened for him. Oh, hey, look at you with more musical knowledge. <laughs> and it's Chris Ledoux's son, so our partners to Wyoming, um, they produce some good musicians mm-hmm. and good rodeo people. So Ned Ledoux's going to be in our market singing his songs, uh, which is always a good time. And then uh, one of my favorite events... Flight Over the Falls. Ooh, yes. Happening July 23rd and 24th. Have you ever been up in one of the planes? I have. So two year, three years ago, 2019, I think is when they were here last. Yep. Or when that event happened last. When I was working for the TV station, I got to go with the Army's Golden Knights up in one of their planes that they were parachuting out of. Oh my gosh. Which was an incredible experience. So in true Great Falls fashion, (laughs) it was a bit too windy that day for them to jump so we went up twice that day they weren't able to jump but we saw I got to witness be there on the ground when they you know put their suits on loaded into the plane and then I'm sitting on the plane so this was my dad was a private pilot so I've been up in all kinds of you know small planes so being in the air is not abnormal for you right (laughs) no it's not and it doesn't you know it doesn't scare me things like that I want to skydive someday like that's on my on my bucket list of things But I will tell you, I got to sit, so the plane, it's, oops, I don't know how to say this without (laughs) using my hands and knocking the microphone. It's not set up like a normal commercial plane. It's like if you were to picture a military plane, maybe, which I guess it makes sense. It's the army. Yeah. Um, So it's a smaller, you know, midsize, like private jet kind of size plane. Okay. But the seats are 
parallel to the side of the plane so it's one big bench basically okay. along the side with so you're not staring at somebody's head you're staring right, you're at staring somebody's across face across the plane yeah. at somebody else yeah so when you take off you're not facing forward to start with you're Ooh. sideways and then there's also two open openings in the side like towards the end the back end of the plane because that's where they jump out of when they parachute so they have me i'm sitting on the bench sideways right next to the opening oh my god right next to this so taking (laughs) off in a plane granted i'm also holding a camera trying to get video as we're taking off right it is such a strange feeling (laughs) to take off sideways with a huge open door right next to you i'm like checking my seatbelt. like this is strapped in right constantly gotta feel like yeah because i'm like if i move like i'm going out that door (laughs) right there what am i gonna grab on right nothing i mean that golden knight's gonna have to fly out the plane after me and hope we're high enough he can make it to me in time (laughs) such a cool experience even though they didn't get to jump that's you know one of the favorite stories that i've gotten to cover getting to go up i was hoping i would get to strap on to one of them and jump out of the plane oh my gosh that wasn't a thing for me to do but (laughs) i got to go up in the plane with him sit right there peek out the window i mean such a cool experience so so awesome granted i don't think you know they sell tickets for that type of thing but that's my that's my flight over the falls experience way better than the lame story i was going to tell about (laughs) my niece and i hanging out all day no i want to hear it let's hear it we'll save that for another time okay we can't. We can't. I can't follow that. <laughs> well, I, thankfully, I didn't, you know, fall out of the plane, so it wasn't that exciting. But, but still, cool. You got to it go was. up. It was a really neat experience. The um, we're gonna jump back into live music. Uh, the Beacon Ice House Summer Concert Series has started tomorrow today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it started. It's underway because this is not live. Um, and the Beacon Ice House is right on the Sun River, and they've got this outdoor concert area, grassy knoll stuff with yeah. food trucks and stuff. Really neat experience. I've not gotten down there during the concerts yet. I've just seen the setup. So, yeah. Folks, and if you have a boat along the Sun River, you can pull up on the shore there. You can listen it's that way. Quite the experience. And they've got just a bunch of music happening. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a big lineup this year. They have yeah. uh, some bigger names coming, I think, later they this do. year, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're completely completely right do you want to try and guess which one i have mm. on my list i know there's one that jason again is really excited about I and i'm totally it, spacing on it right now i think it has to be this one because it's shenandoah yes that's it september 1st i'm super excited yeah, about that that's the one and i don't just i don't know much for old country yeah and well and yeah jason loves that too and yeah. a, a friend of his is really it lives in nashville is really ingrained into all of that so we're hoping he has some type of fun band connection there or something Woo. yeah The Montana Cup Soccer Tournament is going to be in Great Falls June 12th. June. Another June June event. Uh, Callie Jean actually worked with them to make sure they could have a nice time here in Great Falls. And there's going to be a ton of kids here for that tournament. So kick hard, folks. I don't know what they say in (laughs) soccer. Go team. (laughs) Electric City Speedway is racing. Mm -hmm. Uh, That kicked off already. We've got all of their events on our event page on our website. That I know for sure. And then uh, more flight stuff. Flying Legends of Victory Tour starts Mm. June 22nd here in Great Falls. Those are neat. Find those up at uh, Holman Aviation. I've not seen this one, but I did do the Spirit of Freedom one. Yes. The one that was a couple of years ago as well. Yeah. That was really neat. It's surreal almost to be walking through. Because you go, you walk in, you can touch yeah. you know experience they're being like, in that plane they're like flying museums they really are yeah and it's pretty incredible to try to picture what these people went through that were you know used these planes and war and overseas and yeah it's pretty incredible and to contrast and compare to the planes that we have today mm-hmm. is really interesting uh we had the opportunity of hosting the berlin airlift veterans association here quite a mm. few years ago because we were the training grounds for that mission yeah yeah. they spent three weeks in great falls learning how to fly into berlin and that was back back when malmstrom had the flying mission Mm -hmm. that's true um right after world war ii Mm -hmm. and then they shipped over to germany and they flew into berlin so the planes were smaller they were different they had completely not the same technology weird (laughs) um and so it's really interesting to see that now i'll be completely honest big surprise I'm not sure what we're going to see on the Flying Legends of Victory Tour, Mm -hmm. but it's going to be awesome. I know that. Yeah. Like you said, flying and grounded museums is what they are. Right. So get out, experience that. Um, And then they even have 
people who have flown those planes mm-hmm. like in their heyday there to give you stories right which is even cooler it is let's jump ahead to august okay 11th 12th and 13th do you know what is happening that weekend it's right after my birthday and right after <laughs> dwight yokum is here that's what i know <clears throat> big river ruckus uh-huh, yes This is the newest festival event in Great Falls. It kicked off last year. It's got a little bit more blues, some red dirt country. Um, National acts, you may not know who they are unless you're a follower of some of these music. Mm -hmm. And so I, I didn't know who most of these people were, but again, researched, found some of their music. Pretty good. Added them to your playlist. So... Part of the lineup for Big River Ruckus is uh, Shiny Ribs is coming, and I know nothing about them, <laughs> but they're a really popular, well-known blues band. Okay. so shine- I do love blues music, actually. And last year's music was phenomenal, quality, mm. quality music, and you could just enjoy the whole thing. It's set on the park. The backdrop is the Missouri River. It don't get much better, folks. No. Those are wonderful summer nights when you just sit there, relax, by the river. Mm -hmm. So, Shiny Ribs, Jason Boland and the Stragglers. They were here last year. They're coming back. They're out of Texas. Tommy Castro and the Painkillers are going to be here. I don't know them. This one I do know. Susie Boggess. She was a very... Did you find her on TikTok as well? I didn't. I got her cassette. One of my first... Oh, hey! One of my first tapes was of Susie Boggess. Aw. So another it. 90s country artist. Okay. Um, just after my own heart. Paul Thorne uh, is going to be here. Uh, go ahead and squeal when you know one of them. Chuck Mead. And then John Roberts Epon Blanco. Okay. That's probably I'm sure it's all going to be great. I'm not... I... My husband is the... the vast musical knowledge i'm like oh i like that song yeah that's That's what i know Mm -hmm. and that's what you're gonna get at big river rock is just a really a lot of good music um we should probably do an episode about big river Mm -hmm. ruckus we'll just there's more than just those yeah musical events too and um if you got someone who knows a little bit more about it they can share a little bit more of their excitement than me just listening it out and you know maybe you're listening and you're squealing because you're like oh my god i love paul thorne Mm -hmm. thank you great He's going to be in Great Falls. Yes, come see him. Sorry I don't know more about him. Yeah, none of my musical knowledge should be based on, you know, how excited we should be just because I'm a bad gauge for that. Mm -hmm. And then um, the Buffalo Kite Festival is back July 8th and 9th. Um, I went to that last year. Really neat. Really awesome. Big, big kites. Mm -hmm. Um, And as you mentioned, uh, there's some wind that's here. A little bit. Makes yeah. kite flying a little bit fun and easy around this time. And this is the event that I really want you to be our sponsored athlete in. Oh, dear. I forgot about it. <laughs> I forgot I was supposed to be nervous. <laughs> the Knuckle Buster oh, Obstacle yeah. Course. I First off, the name. Fantastic yeah. <laughs> name. Knuckle Buster. Yes. Uh, Knuckle Buster Obstacle Course is going to be July 16th. And we don't have to tell you anything more about that because we have an episode coming up with the creators of the Knuckle Buster Obstacle Course. Mm -hmm. And they may correct me when they're here, but it's a Spartan-like race. And we probably can't use that word. It's probably probably trademarked. They probably can't use it either. But I get the feel that it's the same. a similar concept where you have obstacles. It's intense. And they're, you're going to crawl through mud. You're mm-hmm. going to, and it's going to be up at showdown. So you're going to go uphill. Elevation changes. Oh man, mm-hmm. it is going to be awesome. I wonder so. if there's fire involved. I know some of the other races. My best friend <sighs> just hope. did a, a, a Spartan type race recently, and she had to like jump over fire at the end. I think that's great. I think it's great too. I do. Okay, I will <laughs> say, I don't know if I'll be ready in time for this year. But you're a runner. Yeah, I'm an out. I'm <laughs> currently very out of shape runner. And the obstacle thing is a whole different set of truly skills and muscles. Truly. But, yeah. I think I am prepared to bust my knuckles. And that's about it. Okay. On the beer that you're right. going to be crushing. Your hands. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what, that's <laughs> for your, what I will help for you your celebrate. For your athlete yeah. event. Yeah. <laughs> um, another thing I'm kind of excited about, just because it's another musical act that doesn't always maybe make it to a market like Great Falls. Yeah. And again, not everyone's going to know who this is, but Buck Cherry oh, is yeah. coming yeah. August 9th. 
Now, I remember Buck Cherry. Buck Cherry's not for everyone, kids. No. <laughs> That's more uh, adult content. Mm-hmm. Um, but really, name brand, bigger group. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty excited to see them here in our market. Yeah, it is, it is fun to get. And a variety, too, because I think sometimes people think it's just country events or right. country acts that come here. And that's not true. We get a, we get a variety. Or a country rap, like you yeah. were talking about earlier. Cold Ford. There you go. We bring the culture. We country are, rap culture. We aren't Montana's <laughs> base camp for art and adventure for nothing. That's right. Get ready for the country rap. I'm just excited to hear what country yeah. rap is. Yeah. yeah. Colt Ford's pretty good. Yep. Um, so this is an interesting, you know, we talked about adventure. Now let's talk about art. The Russell auction, mm-hmm. which has traditionally happened during Western Art Week in March at Charlie's birthday, is been moved to August. Yes. And it will be August 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st this year. And likely next year as well, it'll be in August. So look for the development of a new art festival mm-hmm. that happens around that that time. We haven't fully named it, and we haven't fully talked to the people in charge of some of the names. Mm-hmm. But we're we're leaning towards some type of arts festival name. <laughs> Nailed it, arts <laughs> festival. There it is. So. Um, Hopefully we'll have some people in um, and have meetings off the air. Yes. <laughs> yes. And figure out what we're going to do there. But the Russell is happening uh, August 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. There's also going to be other art exhibits that are happening. There's going to be a street dance that happens along with it. Hmm. There's going to be uh, food available, maybe some more Western food. Okay. I don't know all the details, but I'm excited to learn about it. And um, we'll be getting you those details as soon as we know about it. Yeah. It, so a lot going on in August, too. So you could have kind of one last push vacation time before kids go back to school. Right. That's a really good plan. Mm-hmm. We can help you plan right we can. here. Mm-hmm. Um, High Valley Country Music Artist coming on August 21st. Women's Expo. Um, mm-hmm. This is getting into the fall. Women's Expo is coming September 30th, October 1st and 2nd. And the Women's Expo is just a really fun, I'll call it a trade show because that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't have to call it that because that is what it is. What is it? Mm-hmm. That's a bunch of booths you just go through, learn about new products, services, all designed for the woman in mm-hmm. your life. So that's either you or someone else you know. Should and be. then something I'm pretty excited about because I've been following them for a long time. Mm-hmm. Comedian Josh Blue is okay. coming to Great Falls November 19th. Ooh. I started following him 10 years ago. Okay. And he is a comedian with cerebral palsy and makes fun of the fact that he has cerebral palsy. Yes. Okay. Which I know then who feels you're awful. About. <laughs> feel awful about laughing about it, but. But he's, he's, he's a comedian. Yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's a great comedian. Yeah. I've seen some of his videos. That's exciting. So he's going to be here in market November 19th. Okay. So those are the big things we know about right now. This That's is a lot. obviously not everything we know. No. We don't, we're not damn experts, but we do know some stuff. <laughs> we try. I mean, going back to earlier, that's what, you know, you're paid to do. Yeah. Come here, learn about things, tell you about the area. <laughs> don't be surprised when we know stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and when we don't know stuff, don't be surprised then either. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um, you know, we like to surprise people by knowing things, even though we get a little cocky and we're like, yeah, we should know stuff. There's a bunch of stuff we don't know. Mm-hmm. So please don't make fun of us when we don't know that either. It's true. It's true. So, Shannon, Mm -hmm. uh, episode one. In the books. Yeah. On the air. I think we did a good job. We'll leave that up for our viewers. (laughs) We'll see how many keep listening after this episode. (laughs) Which makes us really want you to rate, review, and subscribe. We love it when you do that. (laughs) It makes us happy, but mostly just tell your friends and uh, get to Great Falls. That's what we really want to know. So as we close out this episode, no, this is just the beginning with Shannon Newth. Um, She is going to be our new co-host. She's going to do a wonderful job, probably bring a little more professionalism to this uh, establishment than we've ever had before. You didn't tell me that was part of the gig. (laughs) Oh, boy. Um, Tighten up your bootstraps, folks. (laughs) It's going to get real. (laughs) 
so until we see your bright, smiling, happy face here in Great Falls, we hope you are having an amazing time creating memories with your friends and family. We are no damn experts as the recorded claims from Great Falls, Montana, covering what you need to know about this amazing damn town.